welcome to Yorkshire. I don't know if that's the Yorkshire accent. I'm pretty sure it's something like that. Maserati invited me up for like a drive day. We've got an MC20. I've got this car for like 20 minutes. So I'm just gonna do like a one take, first drive, first thoughts on this car. Oh, it's sweaty. Right, let's get the engine on and let's go. I'm sorry, the audio is probably terrible. The quality is probably terrible compared to what you used to, but this is the best I can do with what I've got. Let's put the lift up. Yeah, Ooh, I can feel it. So, brief overview of the MC20. It's got about 630 horsepower, V6, twin turbo, rear wheel drive. It's a pretty good recipe. So let's see how it is once they get out of this bumpy bit. Let's go. Okay, we're starting off in GT mode. So nice and comfy, just how you would use it if you were on a holiday or a road trip somewhere. The interior is, it's nice, you know. There's Alcantara, there's leather, there's carbon fiber. These carbon fiber paddles are beautiful. Good job, Maserati. So straight away, I can just tell this is a supercar that you could use all the time. It's comfortable, it's easy to drive, it's just, it's in auto right now, it's just doing its thing. The steering's light, the suspension is a little bit firm, but this is a supercar. What do you guys think of how this car looks? Because yeah, it's a supercar, but it doesn't look as crazy or kind of in your face as most other supercars do. It's something about it, it's, it's just quite subtle and understated. I think the best angle is dead straight on, straight on with the doors up. Oh, that's the money shot right there. Side profile is really nice as well. The rear actually, it's not bad, but it just reminds me of the McLaren GT. It, it kind of looks the same as, it, as the GT does. But yeah, overall, it's a good looking car and some people don't want super aggressive looking in your face shouty supercars they just want something that drives like a supercar but maybe is a little bit more understated and i think this is that okay let's turn things up a notch we're in gt right we're in sport we'll stick it in manual a couple of downshifts quick downshifts oh my goodness me oh so this thing 630 ish horsepower it's around 1500 kilos, so it's obviously it's a quick car. I think the 0 to 60 is like 2.8, 2.9 seconds, so it's rapid. Oh, I've got a 30 zone here, so I've got to take it easy. This car is making me want to give it. it. Like it's pulling me in, it's telling me to give it more, but I can't, it's a 30 zone. Oh, we got speed bumps. How this exhaust sounds I'm not quite sure how I feel about it oh my goodness this is so quick what the hell the exhaust though I don't know it's not there's not much character to it it's a bit flat but the turbo noises completely oh my god completely overwhelm the sound of the actual exhaust which is not something you're really used to, but I kind of like it. I'm a fan of turbo swooshes and whistles, and this is gone. Oh, I could just do that all day, but I'm in a little bit of a rush because I think I might be late. So apologies to whoever is waiting to have a go at this after me. I had to stop and set the camera up, and I needed a wee, and I couldn't find a toilet, so I had to find a bush. But there we go. When the turbo squeaks, it's so good. That was a tight squeeze. This reminds me of the 720S quite a bit, you know. It's, it's the way that the, the power is delivered. It's quite laggy, so there's not much and then all of a sudden it's like whoom, it all just comes kicking in jesus man and the 720s would be one of the main competitors for this car alongside i don't know the hurricane the 296 gtb 
what would you guys have? I don't, it's a tough one. I'm a huge McLaren fan. I love the 720S or now the 750S. In fact, the 600 LT is my favorite car. What would I choose out of this in a Hurricane? That's tough, man. The Hurricane has got that, just that V10 and legendary engine, but this is quicker. I would say this is quicker than a Hurricane. But then it's all just subjective, right? They all look completely different. This one is more subtle, a bit more grown up. There's a lot of cars you can buy for the price of this. This starts at just under £200,000 and as spec, I think it's close to a quarter of a million pounds. So that's, you can get a lot for a quarter of a million pounds. My rear view mirror is a camera, which is quite unusual. I've never, I've never driven a car with a camera from a rear view mirror. I kind of catch myself looking at it and I'm like looking through it because I'm trying to focus on what would be in a reflection, but it's not there. So I have to like adjust my focus, but it's weird. I don't know, maybe you get used to it. Right, first gear pull. I'm not gonna launch it because I don't think I'm allowed, but first gear pull. Jesus wept. Look at that tractor. I could have driven under that. That is crazy. These roads around here are mega. I've never really spent much time in New Yorkshire, but this is oh, a bit of a wet bit there. Wow, dude. The squeaks! The turbo squeaks, they're so good. On first impressions, it's nuts. I mean, it's a 630 horsepower. 1500 kilogram supercar so obviously it's going to be nuts but i just want it for longer i want a chance to kind of really connect with it and see what it's all about so fingers crossed maserati will send me one and we can do a proper review of it it feels so planted I bet this thing would be ridiculous on track. I think it would be absolutely ridiculous. And these roads aren't the smoothest either, but it's dealing with it pretty well considering. Man, there's so many different noises going on. So many different noises rare that you get a car where the exhaust isn't the most powerful sound that's actually going on. It's all the swooshes, man. Wow. These are some really nice roads around here. Really nice roads. impressed man I'm really impressed let's put the window down see if we can hear it a little bit better yeah it doesn't sound bad let's be honest it doesn't sound bad it doesn't sound phenomenal but the exhaust note in conjunction with the turbo whistles and oh, it's pretty good, let's be honest. It's pretty good. Wow, dude. The best thing about the turbo swooshes is that they're literally right here behind your ear. The intakes are right there, so they're just in your brain. It's, oh. I haven't seen that many around either. I've I've seen one on the road. And when they did come out, it wasn't like a big thing. It was kind of like, oh, by the way, here's a 630 horsepower supercar. I like this. I like it a lot. I'm starting to get more invitations to events like this where I can either get early access to a car or like a quick drive of a bunch of different cars. 
so there's definitely room for more videos like this so if you want to see them and you don't mind the the lower quality and the rush kind of style of these videos let me know because i can do it. it it hurts me a little bit inside because i'm a massive perfectionist i love having the car for like a week so i can really use it normally like i would if it was my own car get to know it get all the shots i want to get and just make something that is not only informative but beautiful to look at and that's difficult to do when you've got the car for like 30 minutes so yeah if you want to see more stuff like this let me know i'll do it i'll do my best right i'm about to get back to the venue so if you enjoyed this video give me a thumbs up subscribe for more and i will see you in the next one let's give it one last rip oh.